In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the distributive property to solve this uh, math problem. So if you look at the first one up here, it says three times the sum, because it's in parentheses, so the sum of 12 and 5, or the sum of 12 plus 5. So what the distributive property asks you to do is to take this number that's on the outside of the parentheses and you're going to multiply it by every number that's on the inside of the parentheses. And how I like to remember that is say hi, multiply. So what that means is I like to think of this as a house, the parentheses, and inside the house is a 12 and a 5. Now outside the house is this three over here and he's trying to get inside of the house. And in order to do so, he needs to say hi to each of the numbers inside by multiplying. So first, three is going to say hi to 12. And it's going to be say hi multiply three times 12. Now three also needs to say hi to five because five is in the parenthesis house. So three is also going to say hi multiply to the five. Now there's a plus on the middle, so the plus sign is going to go in between and that's gonna remind you that it's saying hi because it's positive, plus. Now the second one down here, I see a minus sign. So the way I like to think of that one is say by multiply. So whether it's subtraction or addition, you are going to be multiplying. It's just the minus sign will be to remind you that it's by, and the plus sign is going to be high. So the second problem down here, the six is outside the parenthesis house. So six needs to say by to the four. So it's going to be say by multiply six times four, and it also needs to say by to the three. So it's going to also be six times three. Say by multiply. Now since it's a by, or a goodbye, that means it's a negative because you're leaving. So we know that the minus sign needs to go in between the two new multiplication fact problems. So then if it asks you to solve, you would actually go ahead and solve it. This is just a different way to write these expressions. So I'm just going to continue with the second one down here. If I needed to continue to solve this, I would say 6 times 4 is 24. And over here it says 6 times 3, and I know that that's 18. And I'll keep the minus sign in between. Now usually if it asks you just for the expression, you would leave it just here. Just like that. But if it asks you to fully solve it, you would do 24 minus 18, which is 6. And that's only if it asks you to solve. Okay, so solve, you'd get an answer here. If it asks you for an expression, you would leave it as this one here. Okay, now I'll show you one more time on this problem up here. So we had gotten 3 times 12, say hi multiply, plus 3 times 5, say hi multiply. So if I wanted to write another expression for it, I would just do 3 times 12, which is 36, and 3 times 5, which is 15, leave it as a plus. Is your expression. And if I wanted to solve that, it would be 51, because 36 plus 15 is 51. So in this video, I showed you how to use distributive property to solve these equations.